Hello people of YouTube, this is Checkers Entertainment Channel and today we'll be looking at my 1992 Mellor traffic signal made by Page Signals. As you can see in the video I do not have my red and green man because I am in the process of restoring it. But this one I have fully restored to the best I can and I have also installed a sequencer as you probably would have seen in the previous video. Now, unlike the red and green man, this really didn't have much work needed to be restored. It was literally perfect when it came off the column. The only downside it was, these weren't white. These were basically the same colour as that, with a few rough patches of white here and there. But all of these, all the barriers and the top plastic barriers were all respray painted to the best I can. Now you can see at the bottom here, that was the best it was when it came off the column. That was the only whitest part was this which I've untouched. Not because I wanted to untouch it, it's just because I've run out of spray paint. But I think it makes it look more genuine rather than 100% clean and sparkle. The other thing was with the lenses is that there was some dirt caked up inside here. The red one was all caked up, the yellow one was fine, or amber, whichever country you're from. The green one had a little bit of crap down in the bottom there. Is there. As for these sun visors, these were not as black as they are now because I had to respray paint them because they were pretty much grey and faded. Sort of like this, but a lot darker, uh, whiter, sorry. So, yeah. Um, the modifications I've done to this for the controller unit is that I've put a cooling system in there. I don't know whether you can see that, but there is a fan in there. And right at the back behind the fan, which I doubt you'll be able to see. Let me just put a light on. There you go. In the back there, you can just about see the control unit slash sequencer. Now, I can't run this traffic light for long because it'll start to get warm and I don't want it to overheat and fry itself because it's done that before with a, someone that I knew who also got the same sequencer which is why I was advised to put this fan in. This fan basically came from an old 90s desktop computer, so not that hard to find. Um, I did get another one from uh, Maplins before they went bust, but yeah, uh, that didn't work as well, so I ended up putting this one back in. Hence why I've adapted it with a plastic cap off a crisp packet. Uh, Chris Carton, my apologies, and sealed it with basically glue, basically hot glue, because that hole was originally for another fan, but it didn't work, so I had to improvise with that. Now, another feature as well is that I have a two switch, let me just get the grass out of the way, two switches under there. <laughs> The one on the left is for the red and green man. The one on the right is for the main unit, which is plugged in. So, pedestrian red and green, main unit. <laughs> Took me a while to do that, but it worked. It worked. So, I'm going to get this up and running for you. I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, so I apologise with the switchings. The They are both the other way around. The one on the left is to turn this on. The one on the right is to turn the red and green man on. So I'm a bit out of breath. It just took a while to get the wires back into the unit. So anyway, this is the traffic signal on the sequence. It's a 30 second red followed by a 4 second amber and a 30 second green. 
Now, surprisingly, it came uh, with a few extra bulbs, which I found at the bottom of the green, which the, I suppose, the contractors working for the council just ended up dumping a few spares in there. So when these eventually died out, they would just simply replace the bulbs instead of going, well, into the van. It would just, yeah. So... I will try and get the pedestrian one up. Uh, I'll put it next to it over here. I won't have it connected, but I'll put it next to it there in a few minutes. So, funny story. This is a 1992 model, and the pedestrian is 1990. And, fun fact, these were both off the same column, which they replaced because of excessive rust and it was to the point where it nearly collapsed onto the path of traffic so basically what I've done is that I've wired up the sequencer it is a 240 volt uh, sequencer you had the option of getting 120 US or 150 European I think it was voltage but all I've done is that I've used a old computer cable from a desktop which you can see right there the black one and I've just simply wired it in there straight to the unit no faffing around and then we wired up the lights to take the unit now like I said the input feed on this particular version of the sequencer is 240 volts the output of this with the transformers, the downstep transformers is 12 volts or 50 watts. So each of these bulbs is 50 watts maximum. Now I did put a 20 watt bulb in there for a test and it did kind of work. But then it blew. Um, so yeah. It was just an experimental reason. Uh, that bulb was on its way out anyway so it could have been that overload or it could have just died naturally but yeah I can smell that controller unit now Let's see if I can get the LED lighting in there so you can just see the red one just there And green right just there by the fan blade. I'll just try and move the bit. No, it's not going well. Oh, there we go. There's the green on there. And it'll go to amber and then red. About well, 30 seconds. And then straight to red. Perfect. Now let me just blow into this just to cool it down a little bit. Now, weird thing, I didn't plan it at all. I only planned the intake, but I didn't plan the outtake. But it seemed to have worked on, well, on my side. Oh, that's absolute twaddle, I do apologise. It actually seemed to have worked by accident. So the air feed will come inside here, and where the old feed in from the council is, control box is right there that is the new out feed so hot air comes out of there from the control unit and fresh air comes in here all done by accident but you know the perks that count I'm going to let this go green, and then I will get the red and green pedestrian one out and put it next to it. I'm not going to have it running this time, but I might have it running some other time. 
so side by side with each other because I need to sort the relay out because the relay is playing up on me again as usual it is second hand so actually no it was third hand it went second hand from the council to a uh, collector and then the collector sold it to yeah sold it to me so yeah third hand all right, let me just get the red and green man out, and then we'll be right back at you. Okay, welcome back. And here I have the pedestrian red and green man, which came from the same column on the same junction. And like I said, this is a 1990, also a Mellow edition. And it is also a page signal as well. Now, with this one, it did have... Uh, light diffusers on there. I took them out because kind of looked tacky. Now with this as well, I took out the old halogen bulbs out and I replaced them with LED equivalents which are these boxes down here and they work like a charm my the Osram. <laughs> Right there. So to show you the back, that there is the cable which then goes into the main unit which will then go into the control board. So when this one's red, this will go green and then when that goes green, this will go red. Eventually. Let me just put a light on again. Now notice this is upside down. It wasn't upside down from manufacturer, but I got a feeling it was installed upside down from when they put it up on the column. There you go. Page signals. So we just put this down there without it. Let's hope that holds. So I'll pound that finger. There we go. So there you go. That is my 1992 Mella Edition page signal and my 1990 Red and Green Man Mella Edition page signal. Or signals. And I'm going to try and get these on a column sometime. I am thinking about getting a steel one or steel aluminium one you get from the markets. Try and get a second hand one. Failing that I'll get a wooden waterproof one which I knew somebody who did the same because it was a lot cheaper about a hundred quid cheaper actually getting wood than metal and it seems to have lasted about six years now uh, I'll try and get that light working or uh, we'll picture video of it working at the mate's house but I doubt it because he's not going to be in this country for long he'll be moving to Australia as everybody else is doing so yeah that is my traffic signal collection and a little, a little spread of the wings operation because I haven't had them running for a while. Two years now, I haven't had this running, so yeah. All is good, all is good. Stay tuned on the Checkers Entertainment channel for more videos in the future.